A Corredelo son appeals to Tinobu for air ambulance to transport Elim father to Germany as Ondo governor's health deteriorates. Ondo state governor, Rotuma Ekoredelu, currently undergoing leukemia treatment with chemotherapy in Nigeria, is facing a critical health condition, leaving him unable to speak, according to family sources. Ekoredelu's son, Bobojid, has sought assistance from President Bola Tinobu to arrange an air ambulance for his father's urgent transfer to Germany, where he had been receiving treatment earlier. Sources close to the family revealed on Tuesday that Ekoredelu's health has worsened, prompting the plea for assistance. The chemotherapy sessions, administered in Nigeria, reportedly rendered the governor incapacitated for up to 10 hours after each session. Reporters learned that Tinyabu, in an emergency meeting on Monday, directed Ekoredolu to transfer power to his deputy, Lucky Aida Tiwa, and Senator Jimo Ibrahim. The meeting also included Bobojid Ekoredolu, who was appointed as the Director General of the Performance and Project Implementation Monitoring Unit in November 2021. The transfer of power, to be facilitated through electronic signature, e-signature, became necessary due to the governor's weakened state, preventing him from physically signing documents. Tinobu emphasized Ekoredelu's incapacity during the meeting convened to address the leadership crisis in Ondo. Concerns were raised during the meeting about the potential forgery implications in transferring power through electronic means. Some attendees suggested invoking the doctrine of necessity to appoint Aida Tiwa as the acting governor but others argued that it might humiliate the ailing governor. The emergency meeting, called by Tinyabu in response to pressure from civil society organization Take It Back, aimed to address the leadership vacuum created by Ekoredolu's prolonged absence from office since July 2023. The organization had threatened mass protests across Ondo State starting from December 16, demanding Ekoredolu's resignation. Pro-democracy movements, including the Take It Back movement led by Omoeli Soa, have also called for Ekoredalu's resignation. A town hall meeting and street protest are planned for December 16th in Akio to emphasize the demand for the governor's return to office or resignation. Ekoredalu, a senior advocate of Nigeria and former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, won re-election in October 2020. However, his second term has been marred by health challenges, with reports of leukemia emerging in January 2023. The governor returned to Nigeria in September after a three-month medical leave in Germany but has remained secluded in a border on Oyo State. Recent revelations about the forgery of Ekoredelu's signature on official documents have added complexity to the situation, with investigations by the Department of State Services and a forensic report confirming the forgery. The State Commissioner for Energy and Mineral Resources, Rezak Obe, is also under scrutiny in connection with the forgery. The unfolding events suggest a challenging and uncertain political landscape in Ondo State.